Sneaky B! Back with some more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. When we last left off! Alright team, we're gonna stay at this hotel and we're all gonna try not to get attacked by a stand user for at least five minutes. Good? Everybody good? Yep, got Easy it. Easy peasy, baby. Sounds good to me. What the hell are you guys even talking about? But by the way, screw rooming with that little girl. I'm gonna go get my own room. That's definitely a good idea, right? Is that a stand user in my fridge right now? Hey, how's it going? I'm gonna kill you. Oh, God, in my face! And, oh! oh, that was easy. Must have a quick and easy one. And oh my God, the tools are talking me! But that's okay, because this is nothing to Polar F. Using shattered glass shards from the mirror, despite being stuck under a bed, he manages to get a stand to strike down the puppet, which, by the way, you did say it, guys did tell me that this specific weakness is something that is only effect that is only affects Polar F. It's not for every stand user, which I guess makes sense, because we saw that seemingly Star Platinum, right, has, like, better eyesight than, than uh, Jotaro and can see without, without his eyes. I wonder why that's a problem with silver chariot though because you can actually see his eyes beneath the helmet but i don't know <laughs> maybe there's painted on there who knows anyway polar f wins if barely which means it's time to go out and celebrate right cocky <laughs> okay that's not exactly what i meant by celebrate but uh, uh, you do you man wait a minute you're not cocky you're a weird sexy naked man with jello on his body Ooh. Yes, Yellow Temperance, with the ability to change his appearance, inflict digestive damage to his enemies, and even provide a seemingly impermeable shield. Make it feel like, how do you beat this guy? Wait, wait, I know I got an idea. How about I run? Oh, wait, okay, that didn't work. How about I instead punch the shit out of him? Oh, that worked. Cool. I gotta say, I think these last two episodes were actually some of my favorite ones. I really, really liked the, the fight with Polnareff. I don't know, it's just really really well animated and choreographed and how he got like actually out of that situation was really cool and quite funny like i thought it was hilarious at the end when he shows up in uh joseph's room and joseph just like shrugs his shoulders and bleeding out and i also like jotaro fighting basically someone with a like a seemingly impossible to beat stand and then just realizing wait all i gotta do is like beat the main guy up and not worry about trying to fight the stand directly just like ace attorney sometimes you just gotta turn your thinking around but you guys pointed out a uh, interesting theming that's sort of been going on with these uh, last few episodes. And someone who did a really good job of explaining that was Kaiser Mizoku, who last episode said, Araki was on a bit of a horror kick while writing part three. Ebony Devil is based on Chucky, while Yellow Temperance is based on the Blob. Strength was based on the Mary Celeste, a ship found mysteriously abandoned. Dark Blue Moon was a creature from the Black Lagoon. Tower of Grey was inspired by the Pan Am Flight at 103 disaster in 1988 when Stardust Crusaders is set. Heck, the entire concept of stands comes from ESP and evil spirits. There's more references to come, see if you can catch them. Interesting. Yeah, I'd like, I'd seen people bring up that the whole thing with the monkey was like a number of different references, some horror movies, also like a few other oddly specific things like the Mary Celeste. But I didn't really think about all the other ones also having that same similar uh, theming here. And in retrospect, yeah, that Chucky one is actually pretty obvious. That's really cool. I'll have, to, I'll have to keep an eye out then. Like, sort of think, what could this be a reference to? Also, there's a movie called The Blob. I don't think I've even heard of that before. I almost would have thought that was a, more of a reference to The Thing. But I guess that guy was just too beautiful to be The Thing, right? But uh, Kaiser, thank you so much for your incredibly enlightening comment. I'll have to keep an eye out for uh, other ones. And if that reason you are, comment to the day. By the way, you guys told me apparently that licking thing that uh, Cock Ewing did was a huge fucking meme in the community. I kind of had a gut feeling that that was the case. Just that's kind of why I ended up making it like the focus of the, the thumbnail title last episode, because it was just so fucking weird and goofy. And I wasn't really like it, 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 by the end, I was a little confused by like, what was the the insinuation? So essentially, Kakyoin does that. He, do, he does the weird cherry tongue thing. So it wasn't like the, the bad guy was just doing his weird shit. He was actually mimicking what Kakyoin did really well. In fact, too well. And that ends up being the thing that essentially gives it away, even though that's actually what Kakyoin does. So that's pretty funny. But I also have to ask Kakyoin why. You're not getting anything by doing that. Eating the outside of a cherry tastes like you're just like sucking on wax. It tastes like nothing. You like the taste of nothing, Kakyoin? Oh, and the yellow temperance guy, that the voice actor was Ray Chase. Oh, that's who it was. I'm like, that shit was driving me nuts. Basically, Noctis. 
as well as uh, Nier in the second half of the game of uh, New Replicant, adult form Nier. Thank you. Oh my God, I was like, I, I was like, I know I've heard this voice before. But yes, yeah, so you guys did say I probably should check out the uh, the Japanese version of the cherry scene. So let's uh, let's have a look at it. <laughs> it's funny he actually in the japanese one it actually sounds more like the sound you would make from actually doing that where they used to he was just him going lick 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 unless he's actually saying that same thing in japanese but but it's got more of just like you know it's got like the same sound i do when i do the monokuma laugh the and then we'll hear the final one. Let's <laughs> <laughs> like a pissed off Jojo looks. And finally, uh, the line when Rubber Soul is in an arm lock. Do you understand? <laughs> he just literally. Do you understand? Yeah, the English is really hilarious in this. I think so one of my personal favorites is the, the one where Dio like drops Jonathan into like a fiery building while he like stabs into a the side of a chimney and goes, goodbye, go go. <laughs> All right, we are moving along here. We've actually reached the double digits. Can you believe it? I will say I'm glad that Kakyoin did not end up being a bad guy. I, I was kind of like worried because I really like him. I was like, ah, oh, man, come on. Let's not like throw him aside this early on. And he just ends up being some shithead. I also think his stand has like a lot of potential to get some cool fights too. But at this point, now we have moved on to a train. We are truly, we are going through every type of transportation here, which I kind of appreciate. This is actually really neat. Like I like the setup here of like this grand epic journey as we go across the country fighting dudes. I don't know, it's just, it's cool. It's really fun. I feel like I'm watching Amazing Race or some shit. But all right, guys, uh, episode 10, let's get started. So the Indian leg of our journey is finally upon us. Oh, we're on a boat again. Never mind. Okay, I guess we're on the train only for a I, I thought for sure it was going to be like a like a murder on the Orient Express section or something. Nah, fuck it. We're on that train for like five minutes. Right? Believe it or not, we actually managed to go a full few hours without being attacked by an enemy stand. And then we got on another boat. And somehow we managed to also not get attacked by an enemy stand yet on another boat. What, you want us to use the, reuse the same theme again? That'd be boring. Well, I'm a little bit worried. I mean, is there anywhere to get a cheeseburger there? <laughs> Fucking cheeseburger. I don't know, man. Do they have cheeseburgers in Japan? Actually, yeah, they probably did. <laughs> what am I talking about? It's, it's 87. Yeah, they would have had cheeseburgers in Japan. Imagine like the early 1900s. That shit was probably not something you found in Japan. It's a country of extraordinary people. That I assure you, my friends. They cannot be nearly as extraordinary as us. I mean, look at us. Fucking look at us. Maybe they're extraordinary by jobber NPC standards, but not by JoJo standards. Well, we reached Calcutta. And didn't get attacked. Can you believe it? I certainly can't. Ah! Want a tattoo? You're very pretty. Need some anti-venom? It won't hurt your stomach. Stay in our hotel. <laughs> Dude, look at, the, look at the size of this guy's fucking chest. Oh my God, can I rub cocoa butter on you? I'll pay you three fifty dollars for it. You're paying me to rub the cocoa butter on my chest. Yes? Well then hell yeah, you can rub the cocoa butter on my chest. Get in here. Calcutta buzzes with a bustling energy that will wow. pull you in and never let you go. Ah, dog, get out of here. Did you see what happened to the last dog in the last episode? God, rock get out. I don't need it. Seriously, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Pull our foot down there. This is funny. Yeah, this is probably pretty accurate. Hell, this is, might still be pretty accurate even today. So again, yeah, this is pretty neat. This kind of cultural like mixing pot we found ourselves in in this part. It's fun. You don't give me tips. You won't go to heaven, sir. <laughs> what the fuck? The hell is wrong with these kids? If you pull my chin one more fucking time, I'm cutting that hand off. Hey, kid, don't put your nose all over my stuff. Yeah. Ew. See? Great country, isn't it? Isn't this amazing? They're what makes India great, don't you think? Sure, after all. Shh, whatever you say. Episode 10, The Emperor and the Hangman Part 1. Ooh, okay, we got an, act an actual true two-parter here. This is Chai. I think you'll find it to your liking. Ah, oh, Chai's so fucking good, bro. Oh, it's so good. A sweet concoction made by boiling black tea, sugar, and ginger with milk. There's no way Joseph Nolan li won't like this. Ah, at last, a little peace. There we go, see? So yeah, we, we got good things in other countries, Joseph. Not everything's gotta be hamburgers and fucking warm cola. Oh wait, warm cola was that one other country. But don't worry about that. Not everything has to be cold cola either. Try the hot cola. 
I mean, I won't, but you can. Once you get used to it, you'll see how wonderful this country is. Is anyone else getting a sense of deja vu? I'm getting a real sense of deja vu. Anybody? No? You know, I kind of like this place. It's pretty cool. What, Jotaro? You cannot be serious. <laughs> what, Jotaro? I said it was cool, man! Do I need to speak up? Is your hearing starting to go? Well... I guess people adapt to their surroundings eventually. What is he carrying around in that bag anyway? Do we even know? Extra clothes, maybe some undies, electric toothbrush, muscle polish. <laughs> Gotta keep those biceps glistening, baby. Where's the John? Hold the ref. Don't go anywhere, bro. You remember what happened to you last time when you went off on your own? You got blood all over my freaking hotel room. They charged me extra for that. And by me, I mean Speedwagon. But still, boy still stands. Aren't you going to order first? Pick for me. It better be something amazing, something gorgeous and sophisticated that suits a Frenchman such as moi. <laughs> look at Jess's face. This motherfucker, do I look like I know what's good here? Ooh, I'm gonna get some cherries. What about you guys? You guys want some cherries? No, God, fuck, no more. No cherries. Oh, you're no fun. Please, use this while you're in here. The hell? Mm -hmm. Use this to wipe your ass when you use the toilet. It's just our ways, all right? Don't, don't condescend us by not using the stick to wipe your ass. Well, uh, win in Rome, I guess. What am I supposed to do with this? I mean, I guess I could just stick it up there and twist it around some. That's one way to clean it. Do I wash it when I'm done? I still have many questions. Ooh la la. Whoa, damn. I mean, the walls are a little chipped and stuff, but that is a pristine looking toilet. I really hope that thing doesn't turn to an enemy stand and literally consume his asshole. A gentleman like myself has certain standards and won't stand for it when a bathroom is dirty. Yeah, you know, he says the toilet looks weird. I'm wondering if maybe, I mean, this looks pretty relatively normal, except there's no real back to it, but maybe they're actually more used to squatties at this point, squatty toilets. I don't know though. I think that's like, I came across the squatty stuff a lot in Europe. I don't know if uh, the Asian countries at this point in time had those as commonly. Anybody know? <laughs> Anyone got any good history about toilets here? And so Polnareff did indeed use the stick. However, he might have pushed it up a little too deep. Oh, that was pretty accurate, actually. <laughs> the toilet! There's a pig sticking its head out of it! What the what? Mercedes thought it was, was like, is there a bidet in there? Have they been invented bidets in 87? Did it spray him in the ass? Okay, that's definitely weird. <laughs> what the hell? What's the pig doing in there? You okay, pig? He's like, I'm gonna eat your poo. He's actually quite friendly. The builders constructed the pig pen down below higher than they were supposed to. So when the pigs get hungry, they come up for more. That's all. <laughs> Ew. That's that's really gross, man. That's what it's there for? That's like some Flintstone shit right there. Well, it's a living. Use this stick like this. Oh, what the? What? That's what the stick's for? Fuck. Ow. Ow. Why? Come on, man. Be nice to the pig. Jesus. They're living things too. Now you can do your business while the pig's knocked down. Though some like the pig. <laughs> Though some like the pig. Yeah, like Nico. Nico liked the pig. Don't be mean to the pig. Our manager gets the pig to lick his buttocks and always sings the pig's praises. Ah. Okay, sir, you are going into very unwanted detail here, please. I'd like to take my shits in peace without a pig licking my butthole while it's happening. He gets it so clean. <laughs> What the fuck? Why? Why? Why'd you go 180 and go full creep creepo mode now? What the hell is this restaurant? By the way, the pig's name is Jimmy. Bye. I don't think I could ever get used to this no matter how much I tried. I don't think I like Jimmy. Jimmy! Jimmy! Will you not eat my poo, please? Or lick my butt? <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Big hand. Ah, see, we just can't even eat our food, right? I guess, it's, I mean, at this point, we got through two vehicles without anything happening. I'd say our good karma is about run out. Where is he? Oh, shit, he's back. Guy looks like Voldo from Soul Calibur. <laughs> is he going to bend over backwards and assert dominance on me? Ooh, he's kind of moving like Voldo, too. Oh, you can only see him in the mirror? I can only see this damn thing in the mirror. Freaking reflections. Again, actually, funny enough. Because technically, Reflections also played a part in beating the last guy. I mean, that was not because he couldn't see him. Not because he couldn't see him normally, but, uh, you know, because he was under the bed. This is so not good. Come on, dude. Paul Ruff, will you move, maybe move out of the way, bro? Uh, 
Where did that bastard go? Oh, uh, I don't know. Is that a good idea? I don't know if the mirror's gonna get rid of him, bro. It's probably just making so you can't see him anymore. A stand, but where's the user? Who is it? That man right there. Definitely that man. I'm still waiting for my photo. Guys, bring it in. He's right there. Kill him. Hey, sorry. I'm oh! The man with two right hands. Oh, is this actually his? This is his stand specifically? This is the guy he's literally been looking for. The bastard who killed my sister. My angelic sister! It's Ty, wow! The scum who heartlessly trampled my sister's life, soul, and pride. Who destroyed the world's most pure heart. Gotta surprise this guy's showing up here so soon. I feel like this would be sort of like an endgame thing for Polnareff. Mr. Joestar, I'll be traveling on my own from here on out. What? Why, dude? But we don't even know what he looks like or what his stand is. He's got two right hands. That's enough for me. <laughs> He's got two right hands, all right? They can't be too hard to find him. Who the hell else has two right hands? Except for his mom. And don't forget, he knows that I'm coming after him. That should put him on the defensive and give me the advantage. Is that how that works? <laughs> Tough talk for a man who's digging his own grave. Oh, hell yeah, Abdal. Tell him. I told you in Hong Kong that I would go along with you so that I could get my revenge. Mr. Joestar and Jotaro already know this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I heard the last time you met Dio, you pissed yourself and ran away. Damn. A coward like you would never understand why I need to do this. What did you say? Don't touch me! Don't you demon touch me! Polar F, please, man. Let's simmer down. Come on. We're all friends. We're all burly buff friends who like to bathe together. Why you? Damn, nice catch, Joseph. I've lost all respect for him, that's all. Aw, and he broke my heart. I thought we were friends. God damn it, where's my chai tea? I need my chai tea! Your precious little divination will be wrong. <laughs> like the audience is all watching this shit. Like, I don't understand anything they're saying, but I can't take my eyes off of them. I mean, look at them. Aw, oh, Polnareff. Come on. Stop being such a solo badass. Whoa. Elephant man. Dude, is that freaking Crocodile Dundee? Now get gone, girl. You're on your own. Dude, that guy looks like a even sexier, more badass speed wagon with a different hat. Please make me your wife. I'll do anything you want. I'll suck your balls so good, I'll suck them dry. Crocodile Dundee, I'll suck them dry. Just say whatever you wish of me, my love. I'm sorry, but I'm super gay. Oh. Yep, bye. You're still only 16. When you put it that way, then a uh, definite even bigger no. I'm just a no good drifter, baby. I live Damn. each day like it's my last. This guy's voice is smoky. Even smokier than the guy named Smokey. Smokey. And one day, the end will come for me. Shh. Shh. I'm not done talking. Shut up. You love me? Yeah. You're the only woman I've ever loved. <gasps> this breaks my heart just as much as it breaks yours. But also, I, I really don't want to go to jail. Do you know what they do to buff guys like me in there? Goodbye. Love you, darling. Okay, this guy does not have two right hands, so he's not going to turn out to be the bad guy. Yes. Potentially new sexy ally. I don't know who this man is, but I'm already in love with him. Just like this woman. I too wish to ask him to marry me. You know it's bad manners to eavesdrop. <laughs> you think I spend too much time on romance, don't you? Well, when you've got girls like her all over the world at your beck and call. No, man, I'm just laughing because you're riding a big ass elephant around like it's a Ferrari. It's just funny, bro. Look at you. Where the hell did you even get that elephant from anyway? The elephant BMW. Ah, ah. That doesn't make any, any sense at all. They do anything for me, even throw away their own lives. Uh-oh. You are aware of how I work, aren't you? Ah, oh, fuck. Never mind. He's gonna be the bad guy after all. Ah, I'm sad now. <laughs> <gasps> Behold the hand! The backwards hand! <gasps> snake! That's a big-ass snake. Hi there, can I help you guys? I'm part of a group called Cobra! And it's a bit on the nose, I know, but really, we're, we're really good at what we do. Most of the time. Sometimes. Damn, Snake is going in hard. Oh! 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 Wow, I gotta see that shit again, bro. Holy fuck. All right, let's watch this again. We're gonna break this down. All right. Snake comes in. Man whips out a fucking gun out of nothing. Okay. Aims and then Matrix. <laughs> He really does do the Matrix little wave thing. Wow, that snake's dead and he doesn't even realize it. Oh, oh, he's going to the bottle. It's not over yet. Oh, and in the reflection, he's dead. Cool. 
There's just the animation. I can't get over the animation of this shit, man. This is this is so cool. That was, that was awesome. So this guy's got the stand of reflection and the other guy has the stand of gun. Damn, this thing got fucked up. He's like, that last attack seemed unnecessary. I was already dead. The health was like, guys, what about me? I'm just gonna let me out of here. Come on. I want to do stuff too. You guys. Oh God, Hotel Aria. Why does that name fill my heart with so much dread? Polner F watches and waits. All right, Hanged Man. Oh, we don't actually know any of his stats yet. So that guy's name is Centerfold, huh? Damn, that's definitely a weird name. Who would that be based off of? Like, what musician? I don't know, man. I'm really, like, kind of struggling with a lot of the musical references in this one. It feels like there are a lot more deep cuts than there were in any of the previous season. Okay, back in another place. Can we eat? Please? Please. Actually, I just realized two little girls in here. Did we just like leave her on the train? I guess she just didn't like follow us after that. I kind of, I kind of thought the insinuation from last episode was that she was gonna like continue to follow us, but guess not. Son, I can't hear you over the sound of this background music. Yes, yeah, speak up. I'm trying to say. Are you, you tell me where the directions of the God? God, where is that music coming from? I'm gonna ask the cow. The cow definitely knows what's going on, right? <gasps> oh. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> He's literally just right there. Behold! He vanished. The other guy did. Who the hell are you, buddy? Whole horse. Whole horse? That's what they call me. Whole horse. Whole horse? I don't know, man. I don't know. Fuck it. What are these musical references? Or maybe it's like a censored version of a mu musical reference. He ate the whole horse. Lord Dio had you pegged. Polner F has the fatal habit of underestimating his opponents. Beating him into a corpse won't be any trouble for you. He's kind of not wrong, Polner F. You lost your first fight against Evdal and you barely beat the Papa guy, all right? You're cool, all right? You're definitely cool and I like you. But you gotta come in at this shit a little more cautious, bro. Ever heard of military chess? The tank is stronger than the soldier and the tanks are weak against the mines. See, it's pretty much the basics of battle. Ah. I haven't heard of that one more. What are you trying to say? I have a stand that shoots, and a sword simply can't beat that. Bullets beat swords. Also, the music's kicking in here. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing louder. No, no, I'm laughing louder. No, I'm laughing. I'm laughing. I'm laughing. I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> We're just watching this shit. These fucking weird foreigners. You get the hell out of our country. Prepare to die. Oh shit. And now, Pono Ref, you're dead. Gun. If I take off my armor, I can knock down a bullet. Oh, he, he, he discarded the armor immediately. Wait. Uh, oh my god, freaking bending the bullet. He's going full wanted. The bullet is also my stand, and underestimating me just cost you your life. That's a really cool ability. <laughs> that actually is really cool. It seems basic, but at the same time, it's like, shit, do you realize how insanely, like, crazy busted that would be? You have a you have a gun with a bullet, you just control the bullet and go? Uh, oh, oh Abdul! King of Chad, Abdul, here to save the day! Abdul? Best bro! Your ego will end you, Polnareff! Damn you! You came here to lecture me again? How dare you! I thought it was clear that I hated you and I'm definitely not in any way sexually attracted to you! Hello! Damn, nice catch. Uh-oh, bullets come back! Fire burn on! Damn that off doll. He went after Polnareff himself! I can't keep up, I'm getting too over this shit! General's like, guys, where'd everybody go? I thought we were gonna hit up the ice cream shop! Guys! Hey! Hey, there's a weird fight going on over there. <laughs> that sounds about right. Oh, shit! No! Oh, you sneaky motherfucker! That's tag teaming! Right, granted, there's two of us, but shut up! <gasps> oh, no, dude! Oh, my God. Did he get shot in the head? With him gone, the game is in the bag. Oh my God, did he actually die? I mean, he took a bullet seemingly through the head. It was too quick. What the hell was that? What's the steam coming off of him? It's like his stand leaving? That's what he gets for lecturing people. <laughs> Look at him now. Hold on, what the fuck, man? How dare you? Not cool, Porter F. That's not cool. I was liking you earlier. This just, made, this just, uh, this just rubbed me the wrong way, mate, dude. Oh, wait. I am sick of it. No, he cares. Having people up and die on me. You hear me? Holy shit. No way. He's actually dead. I I don't believe it. I, I don't, I'm not going to believe it until I actually see like the, him fucking buried. Da -da 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 -da. My best friend fucking died today.
I am so sad, I don't know why, but there is a dead bird who has the power to light a guy on fire. I, da, 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 da. I wish I had done something to stop him from dying for me. Fuck that guy with two right hands. Who wait, now that one ain't on a big cliffhanger. I'm glad I have to wait for that one. All right, let's fucking hop over immediately to the next one then. Episode 11, I guess it was like, Fucking shit is going on in this shit is crazy. After I better not pull a fucking Caesar on me, I swear to demon lord. Polaris, make a piss now. Mr. Avdol told you. He begged you not to fight alone. Then tell me, what am I supposed to do? Fight with us, Polaris. Fight together. <laughs> Friendship is magic. You... Damn, Polaris. He's such a he's such a hothead, dude. Come on. Calm down and slowly retreat toward me. <sighs> Hyperventilating! Hey! Polnareff! Uh-oh. Oh, no! He was about to give in, but now the, the, and the dude realizing that he was about to actually retreat is now like, Oh, I gotta egg him on more myself, right? Hey, look! It's the guy that killed your sister! I'm right over here! <laughs> da, 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 da. Episode 11, The Emperor and the Hangman Part 2. You'll soon be dead, and then you can enjoy the afterlife with those two fools. You're welcome. <laughs> Ugh, this guy's like... He's missing a nose or something. Or is he like a nose like fucking Qbert? <laughs> He's gonna snot you up. Your sister was so very sweet. Oh, this guy's such a sack of shit, dude. Fuck. Master! Oh god, anime's just getting crazy again. I'm in the mirror where your stand can't go. Just interesting. Wait, wait, can his stand does a stand not have a reflection? Actually, I guess it probably doesn't, because only they can see it. Can they not see it with another I don't, I don't know. How, how does that shit work? So if, you, so if you have a stand and it's out, right? If I look at a mirror with my stand out, will I see its reflection in the mirror? Probably not, right? Because you only see it through the... Oh, God. Am I wrong? Ah! Ah! Oh, Kakui time! <laughs> He just fucking nails Polnareff to get him out of the way. Oh, hell yeah! Get him, Kakuin! <laughs> he, he just runs over Polnareff. <laughs> uh, is this guy's friend? I, I don't even know anymore. Oh! Oh, yeah! That's out of my stance range. Even if I got him from here, the bullet wouldn't hit him with very much force. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, all right. So it just can't go on forever with, like, full insane velocity. Okay, that's a, that's a that's a pretty big weakness. It's a, it's a pistol, but not a sniper rifle or something. Aw, Avdol. I'll fight to keep on living. You sure that you really mean that, Polnareff? You dumb shithead. <laughs> oh! Oh! Elbow of love! Ah! That's all I'm giving you as proof that we've made up, Polnareff. Oh my god, fuck this shit's just gushing out. <laughs> Merci. Cuck you. <laughs> I swear we'll defeat them together. Because friendship is magic, right, Polder F? Avdol, my old friend. Aww. How are we supposed to attack him if he's in some kind of mirror world? Damn it! Damn it all! Damn you, mirrors! There's no such thing as a world in a mirror. Remember, this is reality, not fantasy. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Dude, there's like a big difference, Polder F, between reality and fantasy. This is a world full of stands with crazy, buff, magical powers and fingers elongating merman sharks and super intelligent monkeys wielding giant boats all right not fucking mirror worlds what are you an idiot come on man <laughs> dude come on how do you know a rock is just making this shit up as he goes you know how do you, how do you know it just change the rules suddenly uh-oh oh shit there's still a reflection ah oh, fucker Whoa! Ow. Oh, my fucking beamer, bro. What? So many reflections. Yeah, it's cool. So like the whole idea, right? Is like, it's not like he can get you anywhere. Like he's invisible. It's like there has to be a reflection for it to work. This is really cool, by the way. I just want to throw out here like, I may not be saying maybe as much funny stuff here with all the action stuff happening. It's just because it's actually really good and I'm super invested kind of like sitting at the edge of my seat like, oh fuck, what's happening next? Jesus God. He traveled all this way by reflecting over and over. Wow. Reflecting? Are you saying that the true nature of his stand is light? I oh. Ooh, okay. Are you guys okay? <laughs> Want me to bring you some medicine? We're fine. Kid, get out of here! 
If you have any shiny shit on you, fucking away from me! Oh my god, in the fucking reflection of his eye, this shit's wild. That asshole! He's <laughs> that asshole! Fuck! <laughs> Listen, kid. Stop looking at me! Don't look at us! <laughs> Pull the red! Pull the red! Ah, oh, damn it. And now, I finally got you! K kid, close your eyes! Why? This is awesome! Damn it! Stupid kid! Fuck! <laughs> <gasps> Wait, you fell for my trap card? I'm going to hurl you into the depths of despair! Oh, fuck me! What are you doing, Polar F? Okay. Ah, you got sand in my eye! Ah! Sand! It's coarse, it's rough, and it gets everywhere! Ah! I knew that if the kid closed his eyes, the next move would be to my eye. There was no other oh. place for him to go, and that's how we'll beat him. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> oh my God, this is so clever. This is wild, man. As long as I can read his trajectory, I can slice through him like butter. Whoa. His real body is over there. Wait, how'd he cut him there? I'm confused. Did he, did he use a stand? Stands reflection or something? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. Yeah, I, I guess he did. That's why I mean, he, he whipped a stand out. And because he, because he had nothing to jump to, he was stuck in that exact place. So that's why before he was able to hit him because he could move so fast between all the different reflections at any point. Essentially, I got you. At last, actually, kind of a relatively normal looking dude. <laughs> My name is Jean Pierre Polnareff. You fucking said that already. I heard the first time. Shit. No, Polnareff. This isn't the man with a pair of right hands. <gasps> oh shit! He is. He's too normal looking. Oh, damn it, what the fuck? Somebody twist the charts this episode! Ow! Gun! Whole horse! Okay, so this guy's got a B in power, a B in speed. Range is also a B. Durability, kind of low, I guess because he can, like, melt the bullets. And it's funny enough, his precision is actually super low. That's weird. So his precision would be really high, and his potential is also pretty low. He really is the stand of gun. Oh, there he is. I'm centerfold. Now, see, that's a much weirder looking guy. How funny. He's got marks on his face just like Abdul did, too. Getting close to him without knowing what I look like was a grave mistake. One you'll pay for with your life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you didn't kill us. Just saying. And then you never revealed yourself. So, you know. Hey, gather round. Huh? They say they've got a boatload of cash to share. No, Donald, let him finish talking. Get him with your own splash. Kakyoin? Give us money for nothing, huh? Yeah, yeah, you love the money so hot. You have such big hearts. And I've got giant teeth. Look at me. I, 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 I'm a beaver. Ah, uh, too fool. many eyes. Ow. You can't run anymore. Don't you guys see where you're literally killing us? Do you not see the blood flying everywhere? Oh, the pledgers. Ow. Stop talking, you weird double-handed fuck. God damn it. Polarized. You could do better than that. When taking revenge, you have to be more refined. This is what you say. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Kakyoi time. Let's go. <gasps> I will have you pay with your life. Oh, money. I'll give this gold coin to whoever picks it up. Behold, a coin so perfect it shines like a mirror. Behold. <laughs> oh, looks like all of their eyes are focused on one point now. Oh, no. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I, I see how it works here. Yeah. While he's literally in the moment moving out of there, that's when you slice him. Holy shit, dude. This shit is amazing. This is such a fucking cool ass fight. It's so fucking cool. And look at this. Look at it. It's not even like Jotaro's no, nowhere to be found. Kakioin and Polnareff, man, just like fucking working together. It's so cool. It's just like. Flip the coin up, knock the sand everyone's eye. Ah, oh, ah, oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I did. He was rotten all the way to the core. Uh, Q actually realized he, he literally lands himself in the classic hanged man pose fitting. All right, so his shit was, wow, actually, he had quite a bit of good stats there, didn't he? Power is actually not that good, but his speed and his range are insane, which makes sense. Durability was also pretty good. Precision, not great, and potential also not that great. But yes, his speed is what really made him the most most terrifying. 
Hold it! What the hell? Isn't that right, Mr. Cinefold? Because he doesn't realize that motherfucker's dead. He's quite busy at the moment. Carrying out his sentence in hell. Hmm? <laughs> hey, 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 hey! That piece of shit's corpse is two or three thousand meters that way if you want to take a look. Okay, I will! <laughs> I'm hightailing it out of here, waiting for a better chance. Oh, interesting. I would have figured he'd be pretty confident even on his own, but no, I guess he really was relying on Centerfold to, to deal the finishing blow. It's all about being number two. That's the motto I like to live by. Ah, okay. What? Oh, oh, oh fucking Jotaro showed up with just the... Just the right moment, or actually, he probably could have showed up a little earlier, but you know. Hey, look, guys, I helped. We didn't have a lot of time to do much for him, but we gave him a proper funeral. He's really dead, bro? Oh my god, I I am at legitimately shocked. Oh, dude, he was so cool. Oh my god. I feel like we're still so early in this shit. We actually lost one of our allies? Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, God damn it, lady. Get the fuck off me. You are my everything, darling. Please run. Hurry. Jero's like, oh, my God. I'm going to have to be the one to do this shit, right? All right. I guess that woman is just way buffer than you, huh, Polar F? I'll gladly accept your feelings and keep on living. What the hell, guys? Why are you letting it run? Come on. You could have done something. Ah! Ow. And he no longer had any intention of fighting with us. We have no time to deal with him. That man. He fucking killed Avdol, dude. I want to see that guy get smoked too. In order to defeat Dio, we have to fight as one. Jero's like, the hell? Who the hell's the main character on this show? That was me. And my name in, in this damn show? Hey, this isn't Polaris Bizarre Adventures. Good grief. Good grief, yada yada. What? What's up with this lady? Oh no. Oh god, what the hell are you crazy too, lady? Or do you have like some demon powers too? Is bl her blood landed on him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What in the fuck? Some weird shit going on now. Oh man, dude. I can't believe Avdol's dead. Oh, I'm so bummed. What the fuck? Man, nobody's safe on these shows, are they? Plot armor is not gonna save save you in this unless unless maybe your name is like joseph or jonathan or jotaro but like freaking caesar from last season and now avdol from this season ah oh, god damn it jotaro's bizarre versions why are you gonna fucking make me all depressed and shit why are you gonna make me love these characters and then kill them off in a horrible way also pissed we let that fucker get away i feel like we really could have done something about it i mean it was only on lady was only on top of polnareff well you guys literally were just staying there could have just chased after the guy or gotten to him before he got on his horse. <sighs> Swear to God. Well, all right, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. It was really fucking sad, but it, God, the fights were, the fight was so cool. I'm really enjoying this, guys. Like a lot. I see a lot of people say that they're like, yeah, part three is like my least favorite. It's funny, it's funny how many I've actually seen now. I, I, I kind of thought part three was gonna be like, I don't know. Like, at least early on before I started getting into JoJo here, like, I kind of assumed part three was, like, everybody's favorite. But from what I've been seeing here, I've seen a lot of people be like, no, it's, like, my least favorite or something. And I'm I, I'm curious, I'll be curious as to why that is. Because so far, in my opinion, it's been fucking awesome. It's been so good. I really, really am enjoying it. It's got a Viceroy death grip on my balls right now, not letting go. Uh, but I hope you all are enjoying it at least as much as I am, or at least enjoy my reactions to it. For those who maybe aren't a huge fan of it. If you are, please do leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not ready. Become a Pinky Penguin. All more the SLP. Where the days are always sunny. And the vids are always funny. And as always, guys. Till next time. Stay classy.